We've been raising lots of concerns about the fact that we're seeing in, in society this ongoing trend that any crisis happens, it is workers that are asked to sacrifice. And right now, when we're experiencing unprecedented inflation, we're seeing people that are feeling squeezed, they can't afford their groceries, they can't afford their bills. At the very same time, the CEOs of the companies they work for are making more salary, making more compensation than they've ever made before. So inspired by uh, a law that was proposed by Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, this, what we're proposing today is to put in place a tax on the excess salaries of CEOs. And what this, what this bill will propose to do is to finally say clearly that if you can afford to pay CEOs exorbitant salaries, then you should increase the wages of workers. This is to decrease inequality. This is to force companies to stop the inequality that continues to grow. 25 years ago, the gap between what the median income of a worker at a company and the CEO was about 100 times difference in salary. Today, the average is 243, over 240 times. Massive increase over 25 years. And then we've got some egregious examples. One example, I'm sure you're not surprised I'm going to give you, is Galen Weston, who earns 431 times more than the median income of someone at his company. 431 times higher pay. That is excessive. People look at that and get frustrated and say, why is it that he gets 431 times more pay than the median income earner of, that, of someone who is at that company? That is outrageous. And so what we're proposing is an incentive. If corporations ensure that there's less gap between the median income of a worker there, or between workers and the CEOs, if there's less gap, they will not have to contribute higher tax. But if there's a massive gap, they can afford to pay a huge salary for their CEO, then they can afford to contribute more so that Canadians can have more support and more resources. And that's what we're proposing today.